Hey guys, it's Hinata here from LAS and today we are going to talk about the component taper. So if we come here in inside the transform menu and open the morph, we can pick the taper component. I'm going to check the help just to see the inputs and outputs. So we know that the taper deforms objects throughout are away from an axis. As input parameters, we are going to have the G, that is the base geometry. And here we are going to have the X, which is the reference axis to deform the geometry. Then we are going to have the R0, which is a number, and it's the base radius of the start of tapered axis. Then we have another number, the R1, which is the radius of the end of tapered axis. Next, we have the F, which is a boolean. And it says if the deformation is in a single direction or not. Then we have another boolean, the I. And this one says if the deformation happens even if the axis is larger than the geometry or not, right? And finally, we have dr. Dr is a boolean too, and it's a kind of on and off for this component. So basically, it says if the object is going to be rigid or if it's going to be deformed, right? And as output parameters, we have G, which is a geometry, the transformed or morphed geometry, right? Let's check the component now, working. So here, I've already done a um, box as my base geometry here, right, on Rhino. And I, I've already did a curve as my base axis here, right? So let's just turn it off, turn the preview off, and let's connect geometry and axis. Okay, so now I need to give for taper the base radius of the start, which is this first number slider here. I'm going to connect in the R0. And then I'm going to give the R1 the radius of the end of the taper here. Right? As you can see, the deformation is already happening. So if I change this number slider here or the other one, I'm going to change the radius of the deformation, the start radius and the final radius. And now I'm going to take this boolean toggle here and I'm going to connect here on the flat F. It's already on true, as you can see. Let's connect here. And what I'm saying to taper is that the deformation is going to happen just in one axis, right? In one direction, sorry. And then I'm going to connect a, a boolean here for the i, the infinite, to say that the deformation can happen even if it the axis is larger than the geometry, so here is the I. As you can see, I have a different kind of deformation that can be larger than my geometry here, right? And now I'm going to connect this boolean toggle here just to turn on and off the taper. So now it's false. So I'm going to put that on true, and I can see that nothing happens anymore, right? Let's put it on false again, and I can see that the deformation is back, okay? So let's just check with a 
panel but it's coming from the taper so as we can see here we have a closed wrap coming as an output so I'm going to bake here okay And we can check here as shaded our deformed geometry, right? So that's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.